over the next 20 years or so, there's going to be an enormous increase in renewable generation. Uh, and most of that is going to be from wind and from solar generation. Now, the nature of wind and solar is that they're not there all of the time, which means that uh, there's something else that's got to be there as a backup when, uh, when the wind's not blowing or when it's dark. So uh, we got together with uh, 12 uh, major gas and uh, power companies from across Europe to look at how this might impact the gas market, because gas is going to be the, the, the main fuel that's going to be backing this up. Um, so over the last six months, we've been uh, uh, working hard on this particular study, lo looking at the impact of intermittency on the gas markets. Now, James was leading the study. Mm -hmm. Uh, perhaps you can tell us a bit more of what it was all about and uh, the, uh, some of the findings. Yeah, absolutely. So the, I mean, the key questions we're looking at really is what's happening uh, when there's, uh, on, on the days when there's a lot of wind generation and when there's very little wind generation. So as you mentioned, uh, a lot of uh, gas-fired generation is going to be backing up, uh, backing up the wind generation. And that's going to have knock-on impacts on, on gas demand because um, gas demand is likely to become more volatile. Um, and then also uh, knocking through onto gas prices uh, potentially gas prices getting more volatile and also onto what will be supplying the flexibility. So it could be uh, gas storage providing the flexibility or interconnection or, or gas from Russia or liquid uh, LNG, so liquefied natural gas. So the huge range of questions we're trying to answer with this study. Um, but above all, I mean, the, the major thing we're trying to look at is which countries are most affected. Is it going to be the UK? Is it going to be Spain? Is it going to be Italy? Is it going to be Poland? Uh, so where is this effect going to manifest itself? So we did a lot of work, as you said, and uh, key conclusions we came up with is firstly gas demand over the next 20 years will get more volatile in response to increased wind and solar. Um, so on those cold days, they're very, very still, so there's very little wind generation. You'll need a lot of uh, gas, uh, gas fired generation to back it up, and gas demand will rise on those days. That's going to lead to increased price volatility. Um, so that's price volatility on the wholesale market, so it won't affect end users. Your, your customers uh, getting their gas won't be affected in residential properties, um, but it will make uh, price volatility will be greater, which implies greater risk for, for companies. And of course, what's supplying all this extra gas on these key periods, this volatile gas demand, it's mainly going to be fast cycle storage. So storage that can react quickly, so the gas comes out of the ground quickly and can supply, uh, supply demand on those key days. So, so as you see, uh, this major study has produced some uh, very interesting findings. Uh, we've been able to quantify uh, a lot of this analysis and uh, worked out the impact uh, for, for different countries and for different organizations. Uh, and it's going to impact different organizations in different ways. So if you are interested in finding out how it might impact you, please get in touch and we'll take it from there.